interested in Git, branches, tagging on Android Studio? Well, welcome, come on in. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name is Nigel. In this tutorial, I'm going to be elaborating more about my Git workflow, especially in relation to the performance tutorial series. Normally, with a tutorial series, I will upload the full project into a new repo. But because the performance tutorial series is based on another based on the image gallery project I wasn't too keen on doing that I didn't want to diverge between the with two repos so what I've decided to do is to create a branch off the image gallery repo and then um, every time I make a change incremental cha incremental changes to the branch I'm going to tag them and then I can notify everyone of the tag so they can pull down the appropriate changes in line with each performance tutorial. A lot of talking, I hope that makes sense, but let's get started. Okay, so here's my Recycle View Image Gallery. I've only got the master branch here. So I'm going to try and do everything from Android Studio. So go down to the bottom here. Select Git Master, and we're going to create a new branch. I'll call that Performance. Select OK. And if you look back down here, you can see the branch has been created and it's moved me onto that branch now. So my Git environment is now ready for me to start making changes on the Git environment. So. I'm now going to move across to the next tutorial where I do the first section of implementing the performance optimization changes. Once I've completed that, I'll pop back to this tutorial and show you the other parts of my Git workflow. Anyway, um, should be back very quickly uh, on the uh, internet. These things tend to not take too long for you. Okay, so I've now made my changes from the performance tutorial and I've put the changes onto the performance branch inside my Android Studio. Now I'm going to commit those changes. So, so I'll just put here from performance tutorial team async task that would do just the two files here I'll be committing so I'm just going to commit those first Next step here I want to do now is add a tag that's um, linked to that change list from the commit. So first of all I'll go into VCS. I just want to view the history here. So show history. And there's my change list number down here. Now I'll go back into VCS and select tag. And tag names kind of, I'm just going to call it async async task commits going to be this number down here and the message here creating tag for um, async task perf 
changes. Okay, now I'm creating tag. And it's telling me that the tag successfully created. Okay, so I've now created my performance branch, put the code changes in from the performance tutorial onto that branch, committed those changes, created a tag that's linked to that commit that I made. Now I'm going to push it, everything back up to the GitHub server, including the tag. So I'm just going to select VCS, Git, and uh, push. And here's my change list I'm going to push up. Now I'm going to select this, push tags. And I've only got one tag at the moment, but I'm just going to say push tags on the current branch because the performance um, branch is the only branch currently that's got a tag. But I'm just going to put that and now push it. So that's been pushed up. So let's have a look on the server and see if I can see the tag and see the performance branch that I created. So let me refresh this. This is the home of the Recycle View image gallery here. Okay, as you can see here now, we've got the performance branch and there's also a tags and tags async task. Okay, so Okay, so now we've got an easy method. If you want to pull down any changes made from a particular tutorial, you just have to pull down the applicable tag, which I'll put in the description of the YouTube video anyway. Okay, so that's all in this particular part of basically just a Git tutorial. Um, I think the workflow here could be relatively realistic for a number of people putting their performance changes onto a separate branch, testing the performance changes, and probably tag, maybe even tagging them of any applicable changes just to keep track of changes that fix things or maybe not. So tagging is a good way of recognizing which change lists are quite important. So that's it for this tutorial. If you like my own t tutorials, subscribe. Bye for now. Oh, into the image view. Okay.